Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. Well, it's Halloween and time to make Halloween projects. This is a Hogwarts sorting hat, but since Hog uh, Halloween is a fairly short season, other people that I have shown it to have said that it is also a cornucopia for Thanksgiving or a flower for all the rest of the year. So let's make this sorting hat, cornucopia, flower. I've mounted a small block of walnut to the face of my chuck jaws with tailstock mounting pressure. I had rough cut off the corners on the bandsaw. Rough is just fine. No precision here as long as I stay well outside where round is. Cutting off the corners saves only a little time over the time it takes to cut them off. As usual, after roughing, my task is to cut a mounting tenon into the blank. This is primarily large gouge work. After some additional wood removal, I'm tackling the interior. Here I need a mortise for when I reverse the hat again to finish the exterior. The hat's brim provides enough strength to resist cracking under expansion pressure. Then I can go on to hollow out the interior. Looking back, I should have taken more out, but that's okay anyway. I smoothed out the interior with a round nose scraper. Now to form the hat's brim, at least the bottom side, then sand it while I can. Who knows if I will be able to sand this area later. Since I use lacquer that does not have blending issues, I'll finish this side now. Now I'm reversing the walnut again, but this time with an expansion hold into that mortise I cut earlier. Now I can shape the exterior. Since the hat is pointed, the first tenon does not reduce any length. Since I don't want any damage from the tailstock, I'm using a rubber stopper over the live center. Even so, the walnut shifted in the mortise. No harm done, I was able to reseat it. I'm using a gouge for wood removal except for the hat brim. Here I'm more comfortable using a round nose scraper to avoid a bad catch. I'm not sanding or finishing this side because I know I'm going to remove more wood shortly. With the walnut still mounted to the lathe, I'm first using a proxon tool with a medium rasp cutter to cut various random bumps into the hat. No surface went untouched except for the brim. With everything randomized, I switched to a sanding head to smooth it somewhat. I left the brim smooth and sanded and applied lacquer to this surface. But after looking at the hat for a while, I decided I could not leave the brim smooth and nice on a sorting hat. So I again used the proxon tool. This time I held the hat in my hand while I randomly attacked the inside, the bottom of the brim and the top of the brim, then reapplied lacquer. Much better. The character of the hat is uniformly wizardly. That is, there is not a smooth surface anywhere on this hat. Later on observing the hat, my wife sees it as a cornucopia and I see it as sort of a lily. Now we can display it year-round just by turning the hat in different orientations. That's all for my Hogwarts sorting hat. I like its unexpected versatility. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. Do you know what really scares me? Not wearing a full face shield. Goggles are not enough protection. Until next week, this is Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. Come back next week for a new wood turning video.